This is a simulation of frequency distributions. Simulations are very powerful. Excel is capable of doing beautiful simulations. The sky is the limit. If you want to know how to do simulations in more general ways, I would recommend this book. It shows you all kinds of ideas that you can use to make your own simulations. But for now I'm going to do a frequency distribution simulation based on a memory besides. In this case we, we use three random sets of numbers with a mean of 3, of 6 and of 9, a standard deviation of 5, 10 or 15 or whatever you type in there. And then we create all these sets based on the function norm inverse. Norm inverse allows us to say the probability use the rand function, a random number between 0 and 1. The mean is A2, that mean. The standard deviation is B2, there. And we lock those two and copy that down. I did that for 100 situations. And then I calculated the average in here. And that average we are going to use later on in our uh, memory. Then I did that for this situation. Calculated the average again for this mean and that standard deviation, another one, etc. Then we run all of these, and each time you press F9, it will rerun all of that. And this curve is gradually going upwards because it remembers the previous situation. So, what is that curve based on? It is based on this set of information, first of all. And we have here a count of the averages. So let's say these are our bins, frequency bins. And here we put the frequencies for the first situation. That is for column A. Select all those cells and put the frequency function in there. The frequency function says data array is A4, that is the average, and the bins array 0 through 15. Remember this is an array function, so don't just click on OK, but do Control, Shift, Enter. Then we do that for the second set of averages. Same kind of formula. Why did I add one more at the end? to make sure that we haven't missed anything past 15. And finally we did that for the third set. Don't forget Control, Shift, Enter. Then we are going to make sure that this curve remembers each time. So each time it, it gives me a 1 somewhere, and that 1 will be more down in the second column and more down there, because the mean is different and the standard deviations are different. So the curve here is wider, has a more wider spread than the first one, because the standard deviation is much smaller. But the curve is based on one more set of data, and that is where the memory is located. So in, in this case, we calculate for the mean of 3 and 6 and 9. Each time there is another one, it goes up by 1 in this case. So it went up from 152 to 153, and here it went up from 92 through 93, and there it went. And we keep doing that. So each time I press F9, you will see that certain numbers go up. How, how do we have memory in there? We put a very simple formula in there. It actually says that is N6, that is this cell itself, plus K6, which is 0 at this point. But each time that becomes 1, it will add 1 to this one. Uh, you realize that there is a circular reference inside this formula. It refers to itself, and Excel doesn't accept that unless you tell it to accept that. File, Options. 
go to the formula section and make sure that you enable iterative calculation with one iteration not more one and when you do that it will accept that formula and you can copy that formula downward and you can copy it to the right and that will regulate these curves so each curve is based on one set of iterative calculations that's i call it a memory so if you want to run this from scratch then we have to get rid of the old memories all you have to do is select all these values together click in the formula bar so you activate that formula and you are going to put that formula again in all these selected cells how can you do that by holding the control key and press enter so now it has only memory from one run then we do the same for that set don't forget to select all of them click in the formula bar control enter puts that formula in all the selected cells at once and finally for the mean of 9 whatever that value is click in the formula bar control enter so now we have a fresh memory and when I press F9 those curves will go up and because there is randomness involved randomness around a certain mean with a stand, certain standard deviation you will see that the left curve is kind of narrow because it has a, a small standard deviation and if I keep holding F9 that will go up and the curves will become more like a normal distribution but because of the small number of cases especially in the beginning it might take a while before we get there I'm just holding F9 and you will see that it nicely builds up and after a while we will have a nice set of curves it is a frequency it based on a frequency distribution and a memory for previous frequency distributions as I said before simulations are fantastic not only are they powerful they are also very creative and as I said already in order to give you ideas how to do that don't forget to buy this book Excel simulation you can find it at genesispc.com if you want to know more about scientific usage of these kind of things I also recommend these two CD-ROMs and that book you can find them all at genesispc.com the CDs may look expensive but don't forget that when you buy that CD you can share it with all the people in your office all your friends you just give them that CD for a while they copy it and they give it back to you 